Are you using the dreaded B word in your business? When you hear the B word, how do you feel? Are you like overwhelmed? Is it that you're like, that's not for me? No way. No, 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 no. That's not for me. In this video, we are talking about budgeting. And I don't want you to start getting overwhelmed as yet or tune out. I want you to know that there are lots of different ways to approach budgeting and the way we're talking about budgeting today, it's going to help your business to move ahead to, you know, increase your cash flow. It's going to make you more efficient in your business and you're going to see that you actually start getting excited about budgeting in your business. My name is Karsha Campbell. I do help everyday business owners like yourself business owners who are in the construction industry, they are contractors, they are frustrated and overwhelmed about financial chaos that's happening in their business. It could also be that they are struggling with cash flow. They have more funds leaving their business than money's coming into their business and there are a lot of money holes and there are a lot of, it's just confusion. So I get in there, I partner with you and I help to turn it all around and then you do see more cash in your bank account. So as a CPA, that is what I focus on, helping business owners to go over those hurdles and yes. So budgeting. A budget is really a plan of action. What is a plan that you have for your business? That's a simple, simple way of what a budget is. There are lots of types of budgets. There are lots of ways to prepare a budget, but simply put, a budget is just a plan of action about what is gonna happen in your business. What do you want to happen in your business? Do you want, for example, to have sales of six figures, seven figures, you know, is that your plan for the year for, for sales? Are you going to have sales coming in from different types of services, from selling different products? What is the real plan, right? Are you going to, you know, be investing monies and this is going to be, you know, some great income coming in from investment, from interest? What is the real plan for your business when it comes to setting up this income, the sales that you plan to have, what is going to be your price point? How many of these items of these services do you have to, you know, sell or produce for it to really happen? So it's just a plan of action, simply put. So we have gone, a budget is really, we're looking at funds coming in, you know, the various ways of funds that are going to come in, the income, and we're also going to look at the expenses and the net effect of that is going to tell, are you projecting to have a profit or a loss? That's a general way to put a budget. And again, there are lots of different ways to prepare a budget. We can have a budget for different the different services. If you have 10 different services, there can be a budget for each one. You know, we can have different products, there can be a, um, a budget for that as well. So there are lots of different ways, but we're just going to look at the general picture of what a budget can do for you and how to prepare that budget. So as we were saying, <laughs> we are looking at the income. What are, What's the plan of action for monies coming into your business, right? How are they going to come into your business? What are you going to sell? How are you going to sell them? And that is the first tear the first level the highest you know the first point of a budget what are you going to be selling after you have now decided that okay i'm going to sell be selling this these are going to be my products these are going to be you know what are my services then the next thing is to look at okay what are the related expenses what what are the expenses that i'm going to be incurring as a business owner as an entrepreneur as a ceo you know what is what are, what's going to be my labor cost right? What is going to be supplies, materials, insurance, we get into all the costs. And it is very important that you really, you know, be strategic when you're setting up your budget. Don't just say, okay, I'm going to need 10 persons on board. Do you really need 10 persons for what's going to, you, what, what are your, your services are going to be, what you're going to produce? Do you, really, do you really need 10 persons? So what you realize that when you start preparing your budget, you know, with your team, with your accountant, that you realize that it starts to trigger a lot of things. You get to th start thinking even deeper into 
what is really happening in my business? What do I want to happen in my business, right? If I do have 10 persons on board, is this really what I want? You know, will they be supporting me enough? Will they be efficient enough? So in preparing your budget, you start to dive deeper and deeper and deeper into what's happening in your business, what you want to happen in your business. And that is why it is such a key tool to be using as business owners. You know, it keeps you, there's so many benefits to using a budget. You're able to, it's, it's, you know, a lot of times people look at it as it's restrictive. Like you have your personal, I don't want to set up a personal budget. It's going to say, I can't spend this. I can't do that. I can't go there. And likewise for the business, it's going to tell me what I can't do. However, I want you to rethink that, you know, in setting up a budget, it's not restrictive. It is showing you, okay, what are the things that you can do as a business? You know, there is no limit. Like you might be thinking, okay, I can only have a 10% increase in sales this year. However, who says that? Who says you can't have a 20% increase? Who said it can't even be 30? You know, there's just no limit. So in setting up your budget, you're focused and you're getting strategic into what do you really want to happen into your business? There's just no limit. Yes, you're going to be realistic and get all the, you know, the factors, the you know, the impacts, are all that in place, but it's not restricting you. It's actually enabling you, you know, to say, okay, this is what can be done. This is what should be done. These are my targets. This is what I'm setting out to do as a team, as a business. This is what we're looking at. Also, another level I want you to incorporate, another level of thinking, another strategy I want you to think about when you're preparing your budget is to think about where you want to be. So your business is here now. Where do you want to be your business to be at the end of the, the, the next year, at the end of six months? So you are setting goals and your budget is now being used to say, okay, this is where we want to go for the next six months. This is the sales we want to have. This is the labor cost, the labor we want to have. These are the expenses. You know, these are our targets. And in setting that up, again, the budget is such a tool that is so multidimensional. It can be used in so many different ways. Just setting up a budget, it just gets me so excited because there's just no limit. You're, you're pulling in from all the team members. You're getting into the various strategies. You're getting into... You know, you're looking at trends, you're looking at what's happening in the economy, in the business environment. You're taking so many factors, so many, you know, stakeholders, the impact of all that is being packed into your budget. And then it's, you know, you're gonna see the impact on your business. And that is just very, very exciting. So I want you to think about where you see your business, where you know, at almost at the end of the year. However, this is a good time to start your budget. And again, you you and again it depends on when your fiscal year is, right? So always make sure that you start setting up your budget a few months before your fiscal year. So it helps to get things flowing and into perspective. This is where we wanna be, this is where we are going as a business. And these are our targets and getting your team involved and on board as well. And again, it depends on the how big your organization is, how big your company is. If you're even a solo entrepreneur, you can still, you know, set up your budget and get insight and input into that budget. So again, think about where you want to see your business going. Where is your business heading? What is it that you really want to be happening? in your business and that's going to help you to say to, to decide and say okay this is where we are going these are the things we need to be looking at and in also in preparing a budget you are looking at so let's 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 recheck recap a bit so in preparing your budget you are looking at your income you are looking at your expenses the net impact of that is going to tell you if okay we are projecting a profit or a loss and that is a huge thing for a business because if at the beginning of the year, the projections are saying we're going to be in a loss position, that's a red flag. That is now putting you back to the drawing board as a business owner, as an entrepreneur to say, okay, based on, you know, the, this equation, things are not looking right. We need to change it because you want to make sure that in setting up your budget, you are projecting to be profitable. Yes, we do know that circumstances can change situations can change that happens however 
it is important that you start looking at things from now you know before it happens so you're being innovative you're being proactive as well because you're looking ahead and saying okay based on what's happening it doesn't look like you know our plan is feasible we might need to think of adjusting the prices so our income can be more it could be that okay we might be budgeting too much for expenses let's cut it down a little bit you know what are some of the things we can do to ensure that we are projecting profits in our business again things can change circumstances can change however it is very very important to be projecting your budget and looking at it from that way always remember to look at the wider environment as well a lot of times as business owners entrepreneurs I see it where you're not looking at the trends you're not you're not looking at the various impacts it's all you know the various stakeholders the economy the business environment the exchange rate all these things will impact your business right because if and we can get into the economics a little bit supply and demand you know what is it that persons are going to be demanding will you be able to supply them because if there's a mismatch then it affects prices and we get into elasticity of the product and all services and all that so it is very very important that you do look on the trends you know look at what's happening in the wider environment as you know your business because then it is telling you that okay you are gonna have to be looking at okay this trend is going this way you know we might need to be prepared for for example if there's a if there's a huge trust for the de um, development and persons are just building 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 you know are you if you're in the construction industry are you ready for that right are you equipped with the necessary you know skills are you equipped with the necessary team if you, do you need to outsource you know are you ready to take you know action on these opportunities which are forthcoming at this time you know which which are in a projection which are in the economy so these are some things that will help you to think about what are the numbers that you incorporate in your budget training that's another one what are your plans for training are you going to be doing courses are you going to be having trainers come in what are your plans for training for your team for yourself so these are some of the things <coughs> that these are some of the factors that are going to be used to prepare the figures the numbers that will be a part of your budget another thing too is always remember it's a very very good practice to, to leave no dollar amount on unaccounted for so if it is a case where you're projecting that you're going to have these monies in surplus these money what are you going to do with them are you going to invest them are you going to be giving dividends depending on the structure of your organization so make sure you are accounting for all the monies that are coming into your business as well because situations can change and you want to be proactive you need to start you know you want to be you want to start thinking about the impact the implications of all these in your business so budgeting it's a very 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 powerful tool it's a tool that I do encourage business owners to use as well and it does it does amazing things for your business helping with strategy growth increasing your cash flow and so much more another purpose of a budget is not only to look into the future to say this is our projection this is where we want to go these are our targets another thing is the budget is like a measuring tool as well so if for example you budgeted I'm just gonna use some small numbers if you budgeted ten thousand dollars for sales for January January comes around and oh oh sales is just eight thousand five hundred what caused that so because you know you had done all the research all the impact what caused your sales to be less this is what you want to know dive in so you get into variance analysis finding out what is the reason for the difference is it that there was a disaster and persons didn't buy as much as you planned for is it that you know you might need to revisit pricing is it that you know a certain line of product item or certain services were not in demand as you projected what caused that difference and likewise if you are over budget again it is always good to look at what what caused that is it something you need to keep doing is it something you know that can be repeated to keep you being over budget in sales not over budget with expenses <laughs> over budget with your sales so that is why it is 
another important tool to be incorporated in your business because you can use it to plan ahead for the future. You're using your budget as also a measuring tool to check what happened in your business, why it did not happen, what caused it. So the, be the budget is such a powerful, powerful, powerful tool. And there are lots of different ways to prepare your budget and you can have a master budget for your business and then you have a budget for each area so you could have a master budget if you have different departments you could say this is our detailed budget for marketing this is our detailed budget for labor so all these detailed budgets roll up into the master budget so there are lots of different ways to prepare your budget and set it up for your business lots and lots and lots and lots of different ways that is why it is important to see what is the best budget for your business the best strategy in preparing the budget in using the budget as that measuring tool what works for your business because your every business is so different so large larger corporations they have master budget they have individual budgets for each department and that's okay but when it comes down to the small and medium-sized business then we might need to you know we definitely customize it a little bit sh shrink it down a little bit so you're not preparing all those various budgets another thing that you can do is you can have what's called a rolling budget so that budget keeps changing so some persons keep some persons do that some persons prefer not to. again it all depends so you might say okay you might be mixing it up and say okay I'm gonna do a hybrid I'm gonna have actual results plus you know my for my project reports that's getting into a bit of forecast and you can also always change your budget as you go along you might say okay we were budgeting ten thousand dollars for this quarter however from month one we know it's not gonna happen because of this massive you know event that took place in the economy or in the business environment or this product we launched is not doing as well as we anticipated <laughs> i'm getting tongue tied anticipated so we have to now change our budget some persons do that some companies do that so again there are lots of different methods to really make budgeting work for your business however i do want to encourage you as business owners entrepreneurs and ceos don't miss out on the value of using a budget in your business. You are missing out on being more efficient as a business. You're missing, you're missing out on you know setting up the effective and winning and growing strategies in your business. You're missing out on you know identifying cash leaks. You're missing out on so many things when you don't use a budget in your business. There are so many reasons why, so many benefits of using a budget. So Here's the budgeting, and I do encourage you, if you have not started yet, take those steps to start using a budget in your business today. You're going to be so happy you did. So signing off, this is Kersha Campbell, helping business owners move from chaos to cash flow. So I'm helping you to say goodbye to financial chaos, helping you to say goodbye to those money leaks, those money fires, helping you to turn things around into your business so that you can see all that chaos, all that reflect, you know, the turnaround reflected in your bank account, helping you set up effective processes and systems and so much more in your business. So until our next time, our next training, I'm signing off. Bye.